What's going on, everybody? So today we're doing a red day recap. It's Friday, September 8th. Tesla bull flag. Went for it two times. 0 for 2. Both failed on me. And I lost 525 bucks in the first 25 minutes off the open. And I think this is going to be a good video because it talks about losing money. Not many traders on social media actually talk about it and show it. There's no such thing as a trader who wins on every trade or is green every single day. And regardless of what your strategy is, there's going to be times where it works and times where it doesn't. And that's what happened with mine today. Now let's get into the technicals. So looking at what's going on on the daily chart, Tesla has been in a range, but it's kind of above these short-term moving averages. Looks like maybe at some point this has the possibility of forming some sort of bull flag, but it's still in the range. So really waiting till this gets up to 260 is probably a better long idea, or at least would have been a better long idea. But let's just go over what I saw going into today. This is what it looked like. So we failed the breakdown the prior day, and then we had a decent green candle to the upside, and then we got above the nine EMA. So looking at the levels like I always do, prior day high, 252.81, make that level green. And then prior day low, just in case if it gets there, 243.27, because you never know if something fails to break out to the upside, rolls over to the downside. I always like having those downside levels. And then now let's look to the right. So look at pre-market high, which is right around 250.250. We'll make that light blue. And then pre-market low, which is right around 249.25. So those are the four main levels that I was looking at. And I was thinking that if we could pull back a little bit on Tesla, maybe find some support, we break pre-market high, we break prior day high. Maybe it could catch a little bit of momentum and continue to the upside. That was the thesis going into today. Here's one mistake that I made. I did not take into consideration as much as I should this flat 50 SMA on the daily chart at 256.40. And that's exactly where I got stuffed a couple times on that flag pattern. So, you know, moving averages don't work every single time, but it's always smart to know where they are. The ones that I like to use are going to be the 9 EMA, the 20 SMA, the 50 SMA, and the 200 SMA. Anytime stocks are trading at those areas or at those moving averages, I need to be aware of where they are so that way I don't get caught like I did today. Yes, sometimes those moving averages don't matter at all, but I like to know, and today they did. And I think that's why that bull flag failed because it failed right at that level. So I don't think it's a coincidence. Also, it happened to be a pretty big area of resistance just because Tesla still is in that range and there was a lot of resistance above. Now to get into the price action. So Tesla had a strong push off the open, broke some of those technical levels above, big bullish move, consolidation above VWAP and the 90 MA, forming a bull flag. I end up going for it once it speeds up through that 256, anticipating a high day break, maybe possible continuation. I got five 257 calls at $1.62 and look at that nasty rejection. So being that I'm a scalper, I obviously want things to go in my way pretty quickly. And when they start to reject, you know, I need to think about getting out of that position. I could have done a better job getting out a little bit quicker, but I think overall this trade I did all right because it still is kind of hanging around that 256. That was a nasty wick, you know, so I'm well aware of that. And then the moment it just shows some weakness there, I got out. So to be honest, I think the out on this was pretty good. Got out of those contracts at $1.27 and took a small loss. And now here's where I tried again. So we had that push, obviously failed the first time. Pulled back to the nine, holding that 255. That's a strong bullish candle. So I end up going for it again. I take the same calls, the 257.50s, five of them, and I got a fill price at 148. So you can see, I think being that I took a quick loss off the open, as far as the execution on this trade, getting out a little bit quicker, I don't do a good job here. I hold a little bit longer than I should. So my mentality right now is that I want to see this go over the highs, clear out the highs, and then start to really show momentum. But as you can see, Remember what I said on the technical analysis, 256.40, that 50 SMA on the daily, look at where Tesla's getting stuck at, right at that area. Had I really looked at that and considered it a little bit better, I would have avoided taking this, maybe wait till it breaks through that high and holds it, and then wait for some sort of, you know, another bull flag or something like that. But this is where I could have done a much better job at getting out of the trade because it did not get over the highs. It's clearly not speeding up to the upside. And honestly, the line in the sand is 255. It's a pretty simple setup here. If it gets below 255, pretty big area of support also kind of happens to be where the 9 EMA and the VWAP is, just get out of the trade. And I ended up getting out a little bit lower, I think because I took that first loss pretty quick off the open. I was trying to be a bit more patient 
and I ended up letting it go a little bit further against me than it should have, and the loss was slightly bigger than it needed to be. So as you can see, it's still holding up, but it's getting stuck at that 256. Just cannot get through it. And then this is where the dreaded washout, where no matter what side of the trade you're on, it goes the opposite way really quickly. And sometimes you have a little bit of deer in headlights. That's exactly what happened to me. When this broke 255, I should have been out of the trade. So I should have got out of those contracts at around a dollar. And look at the premiums just absolutely drain. At this point, I realize I'm wrong. That did not go my way. So as that big drop happened, I ended up getting out right around 254.40. So there would have been a 60 cent difference on the underlying, the stock and where I should have got out and probably about 25 cents on the contract. So even though it was gonna be a loss, it should have been a smaller one. And those contracts got beat up when it fell apart like that. Ended up getting out of the position, sold all five of them at 78 cents. And that was it. Took those two trades off the open, both losses, failed bull flags, getting stuffed right at the 50 SMA on the daily chart. Not taking that into consideration as much as I should have, but it is what it is. That's a learning lesson. And lost 525 bucks in the first 25 minutes off the open. So that was the trade recap. I appreciate you watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.